Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanagar.com and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking test comparison between HTC U11 and Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus smartphone. HTC U11 comes with Snapdragon 835 processor, Adreno 540 GPU, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB internal storage and it runs on Android 7.1.1. Galaxy S8 Plus comes with Exynos 8895 processor. There is another variant as well running on Snapdragon 835. The one we got here in this video comes with Exynos 8895 octa core processor along with Mali G71 GPU, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB internal storage and it runs on Android 7 OS. And uh, talking about the screen size, both devices they got a WQHD screen. The difference is just in terms of size. So let's start our benchmarking test and let's see that how good all these hardware specs are going to contribute in this test. The benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Antutu Benchmarking, Basemark OS 2, Basemark X, Geekbench 4 and Quadrant Standard. And we have already performed all of these benchmarking tests to save your time. So let's just start it. So let's just start first of all with uh, quadrant standard. Here we are having the score as you can see. So Galaxy S8 Plus scored 46,295 and HTC U11 scored 39,868 so around 40,000. So you can see that in this test the winner is Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and the difference is uh, uh, quite good like for 6000 score so we can say that in this test the performance of Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is better with respect to HTC U11 let's go back from here and let's have a look on and to the benchmarking so HTC U11 scored 178,999. It's exactly uh, 179,000, we can say. And uh, Galaxy S8 Plus scored 170,662. So, in this test, the winner is HTC U11. And you can see once again, the difference is huge here as well. Uh, 9,000 scored nearly 8,500. So, in this test, the winner is U11. Let's go back. Let's have a look on Basemark OS 2. So here we are having the score. So the overall score of U11 is 3124 and for Galaxy S8 Plus it's 2860. And if you have a look on the individual test score you can see that in system and graphics the winner is u11 but in memory and web browsing the winner is s8 plus for web browsing the difference is very less it's minute we can ignore it but still a performance of s8 plus is slightly better and you can see that when it comes to graphics the gpu capability htc u11 is performing much much better with respect to s8 plus and the reason here is that u11 comes with Adreno 540 GPU and here on our S8 Plus what we got is Mali G71 GPU so if you got S8 Plus with Qualcomm Snapdragon then the performance of S8 Plus will be better uh, we can assume this because uh, Mali G71 GPU is not one of the best GPU available in the market we can say this with confidence so but in this test Overall performance of U11 is much better and U11 is the winner. And now Basemark X. It's a gaming benchmarking test so it will give us idea about the gaming capability. Once again we will see the GPU performance result here. So once again the winner is U11. It is scored 44,750 and uh, Asset Plus is scored 43,889. We can say 44,000. So the difference is not much in terms of score but uh, the performance is better obviously of HTC U11 even though not much but still overall it's scoring more than the 
Galaxy S8 Plus here. And once again, the credit goes to the better GPU of U11. So let's go back from here. Let's have a look on the last test for today and that's Geekbench 4. So let's have a look on these scores. So here the winner is S8 Plus. For single core, as you can see the winner is S8 Plus and also in the multi-core performance of S8 Plus is better with respect to our HTC U11. So in this test, as you can see the winner is our S8 Plus. Let's go back from here, let's have a look on the computer score. And as you can see in this test the winner is HTC U11. It is scored 8007 and S8 Plus is scored 7875 so both of these devices they are great devices they are giving tough competition to each other in few tests like entity benchmarking and basemark os2 and also in basemark x the winner was htc u11 and in geekbench 4 in one of the tests the winner is uh, asset plus in one of the tests the winner is u11 and in quadrant standard the winner was asset plus so as I said, both of these devices are great devices, flagship devices, and the performance will be great here as well. But if you're talking about the overall winner in these tests, the performance of U11 was a bit better with respect to Galaxy S8 Plus here. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, tips and tricks, and hands on videos like this. Have a nice day.